Being recorded. Hi, I'm Stephanie Buck. I'm a member of the board. I'm the director of open educational resources at Oregon State University. Welcome to our Open Ed 22 community meeting for June 10th. Uh, we're pleased to see all of you here today. Um, we're going to be using as, as our usual practice Menti in order to track your responses to our questions and your responses are very important to us. So you can set up Menti by using a separate browser or a phone device like a phone or a tablet. You can go to menti.com and enter the code 42956826. Or if you go into the chat, there's a direct link that you can use that will also take you to our Menti survey. Uh, and, and or you can use a QR code to get there. So to get us warmed up, um, why don't you tell us where you're from, your state, Canadian province, or country? Ooh, the Netherlands. Awesome. Tennessee and New Mexico. Maine. I see somebody on the phone, oh, British Columbia, okay, very good. Well, it's always lovely to have international representation as well, as well as representation from all, all across the states. Um, we're always happy to see that and from BC as well. Let me, just to keep us uh, going here in terms of a warm up question, the semester is almost over and maybe over for some of you already, it is for us. What's your favorite way to relax? Go ahead and choose your response in Menti being outside, oh, very good. Everybody likes to be outside. Somebody likes to exercise, somebody likes to take a nap. See, I'd be in the taking a nap category probably myself. I'm not sure I'd be in the exercising category. Okay, can we move on to the next slide? Thank you. So here's our agenda for today. We'll have an operational update and then we'll have a financial update. We've got a call for proposals update. We've got some discussion questions for you and then we'll have a wrap up. And so I'm going to turn it over to Rachel now to do the operations update. Hello everyone. My name is Rachel Meisner. I'm a board member um, and I'm also the business uh, or director of business development and active class. It's nice to see you all. So first is an operations update. Um, our committees are currently being assembled. We have assigned board members as chairs and co-chairs for each committee and going through our list of volunteers and we're going to be sending out invites to those volunteers shortly. Um, so please, there's um, Haley's going to put a link in the chat if you want to volunteer for us. Um, go ahead and click the link in the chat and you can sign up for uh, future volunteer opportunities. The financial committee has met and um, they are drafting a registration announcement that's going to be coming next week. And the finance committee is also um, creating a survey for con uh, conference sponsorship. And we know that this is so important to members of our community to have quality sponsors. So please look out for that survey because we would love your feedback and we wanna make sure that our sponsors align with our community and our messaging. And the call for proposals is now closed. Um, we have began reviewing uh, those, those calls for proposals. So notifications will be sent to everyone by July 31st. And then another link in the chat, feel free to sign up to our mailing list for um, more program announcements. And I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Tanja. She's gonna start our community discussion questions. You're muted, Tanja. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Rachel. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Tanja Connerly, and I have the honor of serving on the board for Open Education uh, Conference for the next two years. Uh, we Open Education is a community, so your input is so important. So for the next couple of questions, I really would like your honest opinion in reference to uh, Open Educational uh, resources conference for 2022. Uh, Haley, next slide. 
our first topic is going to be programming. So using your uh, MIGI code, 4295-6826, what kind of non-session programming did you enjoy most at the previous conference? So we're, we know that we automatically have programming all the time. We have different sessions, but other than these sessions that we normally have outside of that perimeter, uh, what else did you enjoy most at the previous conferences? Again, your input is so important because this is a community and we want to give the community what they want. So if you can utilize your Minty code, um, 42956826 and let us know besides the regular sessions, what else would you like? Again, it's gonna be like a social activity. It just can be a networking. Uh, it can be broken out into different sessions that you know maybe region wise you want people to meet. Okay, great. Communication on Discord, networking, asynchronous activities. Okay, Car this karaoke is just really important here. I mean, my God, every time we talk about somebody bringing up the karaoke, so I can guarantee you that gar that karaoke is going to be on there. I bet you that. Um, I'm going to make sure of that myself. Um, opening reception. That's that's a great. Um, and guided networking. Okay, wonderful. All right. Our next question. Haley, can, did I already, is that the next question? What kinds of non-session would you, did we already do this one already? No. It looks like we have a duplicate, so let's okay. move on to the next one. <laughs> okay, great, no problem, thank you. What topics would you like to see the keynote speaker address? So give us some topics that you think that you would like to basically have the keynote speaker address that's important, that you feel is important to you or to our community. Again, utilizing the Minty code 42956826. Again, what topics would you like to see the keynote speaker address? What do you think that's important to you that you would like to hear more information about? Uh, what do you feel that's important to our community that they would like to hear more information about pertaining to open educational resources, mainstreaming adoption, open washing, open format standards, okay? How to research teaching, wonderful. That would be a great topic, partnering with our librarians and our instructional designers, that would be good. Decolonization, okay, accessibility and open educational resources. Okay, wonderful. Great topics, great topics. Sustainability and labor. Hmm, that's a good one. Open pedagogy. Okay. All right, Haley, can we go to our next slide? Thank you guys. This is wonderful. Now you give, you've given us some topics that you would like to basically address in reference to our keynote speaker, our keynote speaker to address. Now, do you have a particular keynote speaker in mind? And let's see if we can get them. Uh, anyone in mind that you would like for them to address our, our conference and be the keynote speaker, somebody you think that would be, that you find interesting or you feel that our community will find interesting? This is gonna be a good one. Again, utilizing your Minty code 42956826. Anyone in particular you think that has, that would be very exciting and interesting for our open ed conference that would bring us more knowledge. Remember open ed is about sharing. So your keynote speaker, anybody in mind? Not, I can't believe you guys don't have any mind. I can't resist throwing it out. Our co-founder, is that Pam? Because it says Pam on there. Is that Pam? Amanda Coolridge, Tony Bates. Guys, keep it coming because this is important. Because if we're going to get one of these people, we need to get on the ball with this. There was someone put something in the chat. Um, 
maybe, uh, sorry, Tanja, I'll just pop in really quick. Hi, everyone. My name is Haley. I'm an open education project manager um, with Spark, who's helping to support the conference this year. Um, I will just note that um, for the Mentimeter, we will actually leave it open for the next 14 days um, after today. So if you go home or, uh, you know, sort of go away from this meeting and something comes to you later, um, you know, please feel free to access this later and input your um, suggestions here. This is the best way for us to sort of compile information and keep it all in one space. So submitting it through Mentimeter um, is uh, super helpful. So just know that that's uh, available to you in the future. Awesome. Thank you, Haley, for reminding us about that. Uh, and Boris, thank you, Boris, so much. <laughs> Uh, Bars also added the name, uh, and, I, and I'm so sorry that I've mispronounced it, Pim uh, Billinger, uh, and I'm so sorry I badgered the name so. Uh, Christina asked, is someone who can speak on Indigenous knowledge in OER, but I'm not sure who. We have our own Ursula Pikes that would be amazing. Um, she would be an awesome keynote speaker. And she, that's one of her, um, that's her specialty. So Christina, I'm gonna put her name up there. Thank you for that. I'm gonna put, put her name on the list. She would be amazing. So just think about that. As Haley said, this will be up for another 14 days. So if you guys uh, can think of someone or, or, or basically have somebody else, let, let the other OER community know that this will be up. So. We're really, we reference all your information that you give us. So please um, spread the word that we're trying to find our keynote speaker, uh, again, to provide us with more knowledge pertaining to open educational resources. Okay, Haley. Great, and sorry, Tanja, I'm just gonna interrupt really quick because I think we have our questions set to word cloud. Um, so I'm just going to stop the recording really quickly and make sure that these next few questions are free form answer because we want uh, to make sure that um, folks, you know, of course, can submit of course. <laughs> uh, the of long course. form answer. So let me just double check that that is the case. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. Uh, for the brief intermission, we'll go back to our regularly <laughs> scheduled programming. Okay, scheduled programming. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, I, I am going to now, as Haley said, this, the, the recording has been stopped. So please, uh, please feel free to uh, answer freely, uh, which I hope you've been doing anyway. Uh, again, our next question pertains to finance. And it says, what questions are important to ask the open ed community when making decisions related to sponsorship. Again, what important questions do you think that's important for, for us to ask someone who wants to be a sponsor uh, for our open ed conference? I apologize, the recording is still live, which it should, it should not affect your comments. Um, again, what questions do you feel that we should ask pertaining to recruitment of sponsors? What do you feel that's important uh, in order for us to keep aligned with the open ed community? Review for any open washing activities by the organization is one response. Are they nonprofit? Okay. Consider how they collect and use user data. Okay. What do they want in exchange for sponsorship? Okay, quid pro quo. How do your company values align with open education? What are your goals and hopes for marketing to the open education community? 
These are great questions, great questions that we most definitely need to address if someone wants to become a sponsor for our Open Ed Conference. Great questions. Okay, again, if you think of anything else, as Haley said, it will be, uh, this will be available to you for 14 days after today. So please, again, go in and put any additional comments because they are being referenced and we're using this as our, as our guide to continue on uh, working with our open ed programming. How does the org value and activity align with equity, diversity, and inclusive at values? Someone says, I disagree with nonprofit. I work at a social startup that really is driven by its OER mission. The reason it has a for-profit business model is to pay for development and foster growth. We have to keep all of these comments in mind. We have to keep all of these in mind as we again, think about what it takes to put up on our program and everything. Keeping that same frame, um, that, that mindset that you have in reference to sponsorship. The next question asks, how should we uh, be consulting the open ed community on decisions related to the conference sponsorship? Uh, how would you, again, like this information distributed to you, uh, how should we be consulting you guys on the decision relating to the conference sponsorship? Again, guys, how, again, because this is very important. You've already given us ideas in reference to what, what, what the sponsorship should be, whoever this person, the groups are that will be sponsoring the Open Education Company. You've given us some initial. So how should we continue to let you know uh, and update you? An initial thought, ask community to give input into a draft set of criteria. Then the committee makes a decision based upon the criteria, okay? Now our last community meeting focused really on this sponsorship. And I'm sure that the finance committee will be reaching out to the community again. Email survey with the list of potential sponsors or types of sponsors, that's a great one. That's a great one. Being very transparent, being very transparent. <clears throat> Any other suggestions or reference of how we should be consulting? Agree with letting folks give feedback on a list of sponsors. That is a great idea, isn't it? Okay. A mechanism for protesting a potential sponsor. Okay. Protesting. We're going to find out for protesting. I hope we don't have to protest a potential sponsor. But if we don't, again, if they don't align with the OER community, we will have to reject their sponsorship. But I hope that everybody falls along with, with our sponsorships. Okay, again, please feel free to come back to that question. Rachel, is is this still me or you? I think this is me now. <laughs> All right, me. All right, me. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your input. We really appreciate you. Hi, everyone. Rachel here again. So we're going to start with our general questions. So what questions do you still have that you would like us to address at the next community meeting? And again, I know Tanja mentioned it, but if you are not logged in, you can go to menti.com and use the code 4295-6826. Um, but we would love to get some questions to help drive our next community meeting and to make sure that you are all involved in this um, entire process of developing the conference with us.
what kind of social programming will there, there be? We got some good feedback from that in the beginning of the presentation, so I'm sure the board will be discussing that. Great question. How can we ensure that there are lots of opportunities for people to feel connected, even though the conference is online and we are attending from different places? Yes, that's definitely a challenge in online communities, and that's something that we're considering. Um, we want to make sure that everyone in our community feels connected. Someone made a great point about small businesses potentially being sponsors. How might the conference be an opportunity for employment related networking? That's, a, that's an interesting take on networking at conferences. I like that. All right, again, if you have any other general questions for us, please feel free to submit them through minty.com over the next two weeks. And um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. All right, so we're hitting the end of our our meeting here. So um, we'd like to call for participation, complete the interest form that's linked in the chat. If you're interested in participating in any capacity in the conference, we would love to have um, all of you involved. And our next meeting is July 8th at the same time. So one to two o'clock p.m. or starting at one o'clock p.m. and ending when we're finished, Eastern Standard Time. Um, so we hope to see you all there and please reach out to your colleagues in the community and encourage them to join us. And as we always wrap up, save the date for our conference this year. It is October 17th through 20th. It's a virtual conference, as you all know, and you can sign up to our mailing list for updates. And Haley has posted our open ed website link in the chat where you can sign up um, for our mailing list so you get all of our communications. And here's all of our social media tags. So follow us at Hey Open Ed. And we have our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Our official hashtag for the year is OpenEd22. So please use that when sharing with colleagues, friends, family, anyone. <laughs> and that's our community presentation for, um, for the month of June, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. We are so happy to see you all here and so appreciate your participation and feedback and hope to see you in July. Thank you.